So Nava, why do you feel like I'm a single mother? I mean, you pretty, but you fuss too much. But the thing is, and if you guys are in it, please make sure you hit that like button. That helps share the video around. Um, if you're watching on the playback, you know, please, please, you should have been hit that like button as soon as the video came on. But um, we're going to get into what these kids actually said. I'm not going to bash anybody here. I don't do bashing on this channel, which um, some women will probably just say, the, the truth is bashing so if you say the truth is bashing well i'm bashing like a mother but um in actuality i'm literally just spitting facts here and i'm analyzing situations that come upon um the the society and specifically the black community okay now we're gonna dissect this i, I played it all the way through for you guys um for you guys who want to see it all the way through like you always say even though this is a commentary channel where i give commentary um you know i played it all the way through in the beginning but we're gonna watch this and we're gonna see and dissect exactly where the truth lies and if they're just over exaggerating the truth based upon who this mother is or single mothers period let's go again because someone in the comments asked me to ask you guys um, why do you feel like i'm a single mother that is, that question doesn't even make sense you see, you you are a single mother because you chose to be a single mother. I mean, like, why why would you ask a bunch of kids why you are a single mother? Now, they give great answers, but for you to ask your children this is ridiculous. Because of someone in the comments, won't you answer that question? Matter of fact, won't you show yourself? But you're not going to show yourself, but you're going to show your children. Okay, and be honest. Okay, so we're going to start with you again. So, Nala, why do you feel like I'm a single mother? I mean, you pretty, but you fuss too much. Now, let's just analyze what that little girl just said. Now... It's a plethora of black men or men yeah black men on youtube and social media that you know argue the fact that um black women have attitudes right black women are just unruly don't want to submit to their men matter of fact they said they don't need men they don't need a man they can raise these children by themselves that's what they've been saying since probably the end of the 70s into the 80s, especially in the 80s, where I played that clip a couple of... Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go down memory lane here, you guys. Let's look up a clip that I had a couple of months ago, did a great video on, about the 70s, I mean the 80s. These women in the 80s said this. Raise your hand if you're married. None of you are married. Raise your hand if you would like to be married to your baby's father. One. <laughs> the rest of you who don't plan to get married, why don't you plan to get married? I'd like to know that. You, you already have your child to think about and then a, a whole family to care, to care for. You know, it's... it's a lot of responsibility and then you don't want the commitments i wouldn't want no man holding me down because I, I think i can make it as a single parent but don't you think you might need help in raising that baby from a man not really i didn't have a father my father wasn't in the home so you know it, it really male figures are not substantially important in the family she said male figures are not substantially important in the family. No, I guess you and yeah, that's a cute little girl. That's a cute little girl right there. Um, but she said male figures, and and and, and unfortunately, that little girl is is going to go through some shit with her single mother that I have a whole playlist about. 
the daughters of single mothers that, oh my God, whoo, man, the things that that little girl is going to go through with that single mother right there, I guarantee it. But anyway, the thing is, from the 80s to now, it's ingrained in our women that they don't need a man, right? So therefore, they their attitudes are horrendous. So this little girl says, it's your attitude that makes you a single mother. It's your attitude that makes no man want to come in this house. And of course, our, me and my brothers, because goddamn, you know, well, there's men out there who, <laughs> it's men out there who would, you know, just mess with this lady with all of those kids. I, I, but for that family, it's just her and those kids. And she thinks it's cute right now, right? The mother thinks it's cute that this little girl is telling her the truth. But let's fast forward probably about mm, 13 years in the future. That girl is going to be still telling her mother the truth, but it ain't going to be cute right then and there. She's going to tell that little girl to get the fuck out of my house. You fast ass little. She's going to tell her that. And that little girl is going to get kicked out the house. And that little girl is going to go in the arms of a pookie. She's going to get pregnant by pookie. <clears throat> and then she's going to come back home with that baby and live with her mother. Where her mother is going to dictate everything. Her mother is going to tell her exactly what she feels about her having a child. And then they're going to be arguing and arguing, arguing, probably going on social media and, and, and spilling out into that. And the cycle is going to continue with that little girl's daughter. You see? And the cycle is going to continue and continue and continue. So that question that she asked that little girl is going to reign a long way in the future. Trust me. Believe.